What's going on my friends? Welcome to round two of the gauntlet on 10.12.2. This time around we're going to do what a lot of you have requested which is to go in and actually go back to chill. So you can see here on the autopilot settings that we are in chill FSD beta mode and on navigate on autopilot I've actually disabled speed based lane changing or DLC as I've come to refer to it. So we're now running back in my original chill squared DLC 7% offset course is laid in rush hour hasn't really kicked off yet so hopefully this goes better than last time i believe we had seven disengagements last time well, let's go ahead and fire this up cameras are freshly wiped and we're actually trying out a new audio setup so hopefully i'm coming through nice and clear we've got a good road mic attached to the gopro media mod now instead of just relying on the gopro's microphone itself it's done the job up till now but there have definitely been issues in the past with customer voices in the backseat not really coming through as loudly or smoothly as I'd like. So hopefully this will do the trick. We'll see how the audio turns out on this. I mean, I'm nice and loud up close to all the microphones. But we're going to try to get some customer reactions videos out in the next couple of days. So just like the last gauntlet, we're going to run three laps. We're really looking for consistency on the 163 merge, considering we got it last time, three for three. Again, traffic's not too bad yet. It is just after 13.30 on a Monday. It's also Juneteenth, so being a holiday, fully the like, return from home traffic won't be too bad. I don't know how bad it'll be by lap two or three. So what we really don't want here is this upcoming left turn to fail or to come in too aggressively. Let's see how we do. Got a car coming to the left, two cars coming to the left. I can't quite see them. Okay, that was good. Now it needs to go. Come on. Go, go, go. All right, let's go left turn. Are we going to make it? Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wasn't a disengagement, but man, that was really bad. All right, 163 merge, round one. After this truck, we're clear. So as long as the car executes, come on, get over, get over. Nice. All right. Now, some newcomers to the channel mentioned that you're not on FSD anymore, you're on the highway. This is still full self-driving. If it wasn't, it would just have the single two blue lanes for regular autopilot. It's just not city streets beta. There's a difference. And yes, this code can't do quite as much as city streets beta. But that's kind of the point. By doing this consistently, we can see if they are making tweaks to the highway code. And ultimately, what I really do this for is to see how this all compares two stack versus one stack. So hopefully that answers some of the concern there. I'm well aware that this isn't the same software stack as people who have followed me for a long time know. We'll still get the occasional comment on it. Alright, now what we want is to not get all the way down below 70k. <laughs> Alright, we want to stay in this proper lane to go to Hotel Circle. Damn, fail. Oh, so bad, so bad. Okay. Not really surprising, it's a normal thing. Now, this part, we don't want to fly through too fast. We've got a vehicle in front of us, so it might be able to cheat a little bit, but it is kind of far ahead. So we're down to 70K, speeding up. Now we're decelerating. Okay, there we go. It shouldn't be the case that we only do this right when there's a lead car. And coming up is the hairpin that we had Lost a lot of the finesse through until lap three when it seemed like the car was tired of me giving it crap for it. I was like, all right, fine, I'll do it right. And just like with the previous gauntlet, we're just gonna, at lap completion, get right to lap two. I value your time and these can run long. Pin. Some congestion up ahead. Probably going to be resolved by the time we get there. 
I'm expecting a lot of jiggle, a lot of back and forth. But it'd be nice if even with that, if we can kind of flow through here, because it's totally clear. Oh yeah, major jiggle, freaking out. I'm not on the throttle yet, no one behind us. We're just kind of sitting here. Come on, there we go. Ha! Oh, the jiggle is real. The last lap on this double lane left up here, the car did what it used to do, where it just kind of like sat diagonally in both lanes, like a total jerk. Like, no, that is not okay. We've got a lot of cars up here. This is more than I'm used to seeing at this left turn. When we need to get into this left lane. It likes to wait till the last second to do so. And here we go. And when we flow through this green, it's gonna jolt around. Oh, it's choosing to stop. All right, you know, that's fair. Yellow. I probably would have just smoothly pushed through because we definitely had time before it turned red, but whatever. We'll go ahead and zip through this light. All right, we should be coming up here now. We've got two pedestrians at this corner. One crossing the street. Doesn't realize that we're going green. Okay, he's stopping, which is good. That went better than I thought it would. No imaginary left lane choice? That's good, okay, cool. Still a lot of noticeable jiggling and unnecessary movements. The first left turn to the 163 was atrocious. But, oh, and it also got a lot closer to that curb. And I think the gates opened this time. Uh, a commenter made a point that the gate closed might have messed up the car. It's hard to say. Uh, but the gate, I believe, was open for that lap. And we got the 163 merge again. So, you know, gauntlet to gauntlet, that's now four for four, which is pretty amazing. In my time outside of doing this, I've only failed the 163 twice. So that is a, uh, and I, I've done it successfully one time off camera. So if we do the math there, that's seven total, two failure. So about 70% success rate, almost, through the 163 merge now. That's awesome. All right, here we are with lap two. Seems to be getting a little bit more congested. Stopping way too far back here. Come on, right turn, let's go. Random slowdown. Really close to that car, lovely. All right, what's become my least favorite part of the gauntlet now, the Friars Challenge in general, aside from being overly cautious like that, is this initial left turn down to the 163 merge. It's a roller coaster on its own. Come on. Oh, great. We have a car stopped in front of us. Whoa, look at that. No hesitation. Yes. I was expecting to get stuck behind that car, which is not uncommon in those scenarios. That was really good. See, that's snappy decision making. And that, I think, is one way it may have improved, even though. Wow, that too. Oh, two kudos moments. Oh my God. Whoa, jeez, that's <laughs> so close to that curb. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, getting out on that, on taking that right was great. Going around that car was great. That's still a pucker up moment. Oh, we're going, we got a lot of slow movement here. Come on, come on. Okay, 163 merge again. Traffic definitely seems to be building up a bit. But we just have a couple of slow moving cars kind of holding people back. Well, there is a police officer up there, so everyone's probably like, oh no, guys, can't go too fast. All right. Man. This patch definitely has me on the edge of my seat, but I feel a lot less aggravated today than I did my first time doing the gauntlet on 10-12-2. Let's see how we treat this Friars Road Exit Hotel Circle scenario. Ironically enough, the hardest part of the Friars Challenge is going to be the Friars Exit, since it seems to have mastered the 163. 
If the remainder of the big issues are on the NOA code, that's a good place to be. And that first turn left to the 163 merge now is in desperate need of some finesse. Like that is not comfortable. And I don't think anybody would find that comfortable. But this scenario right here is the only super questionable spot. Yep, I had to take over because I got this Tiguan on my butt being an irresponsible human. Yeah, you can be mad all you want. You know, maybe you should have left five minutes earlier. There's no need to be on my bumper. Oh, she's gonna zoom by. There you go. <laughs> Humans. All right, lead cars again. So I kind of feel like it's it's getting a cheat here. Would it be behaving this way on Hotel Circle without lead cars? I don't know. Maybe that's the trick. More traffic makes beta perform better. Or, okay, sorry. For those people who are gonna get confused, it's all in beta, whether I'm talking city streets or highway. Wow, well, hasn't been that in a while. All right, and we're coming down the final stretch to the hairpin. Really need like some NASCAR announcer voice for taking these corners with uh, irrelevant sound effects of like Formula One cars zipping by. <laughs> Let's see how we do. We're a lot closer to the lead cars in this scenario. And we've got a nice big NTS vehicle. No, oh, see, they're already going through. See how fast everyone else goes through? You need to do that. All right, here comes the jiggle jiggle. There's the jiggle jiggle. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. What are you doing? Come on, now, now you're stopped. Okay, and we're going. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the left to the 163 merge and the hairpin. Finesse is gone. <laughs> but it's doing it, I mean. I'm hypercritical of the system having seen what it can do. And when I complain, that, that's not me saying like, oh no, Tesla messed up. No, these engineers are incredibly smart with a very difficult problem. All I'm doing is commentating on where the system is now compared to last patch and how it's performing. Nothing I say in any way should judge the system to some degree where I think I know better than Tesla. Throw that out right away. It did the jerk thing. I gotta disengage. We just got into both freaking lanes there. Why? Unnecessary. The last gauntlet and this gauntlet series were the only two and probably the last like seven or eight gauntlet runs or Friars Challenge runs where I've actually had to disengage here at the double lane left turn. It hadn't been an issue for quite a while. Oh well. Really excited to see where the next patch goes. I got into the idea, the, the thought process that this system now reminds me of how 10.10.2 felt after 1081. Like 1081 was pretty good. 1010 foo foo 1010 foo. 1102 gained a lot of finesse but seemed a lot to lose a lot of its ability to make decisions. Sorry, I cannot talk right now. Um, and then 1010 felt so bad that I didn't really want to use it with customers. And when 1011 came along, it just flipped my world upside down. It felt incredible. It went from 25-ish percent success with customers to 60-ish. And it was the first patch to actually successfully complete the Friars Challenge with no mistakes. So having been on 10.11.2 for a while, similar to 10.8.1, both of those being some pretty good patches, now on 10.12, I feel like we're at where we were with 10.10, where it's gained some things but lost a lot of its decision-making finesse. Whereas the next step, 10.13, it's probably going to feel like 1011 did. It's going to flip it around and make it feel amazing. At least that's my guess. That's what I'm thinking. I've seen some comments where people are discussing that with 1012, a lot of changes were made in the neural nets. And that with that new introduction of information, the system has become a bit more rocky. And it will gain that finesse back through iteration. And that 
sounds pretty much exactly like what I just described from an experiential point of view from 1081 to where we are now. So I, I think so. I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm pretty sure that 1013 is going to make up for where 1012 seems to be falling behind. Um, I took over there because I'm just getting through the mall. We're pretty much done with lap two, but I was ranting. So let's go ahead and get to lap three. All right, here we go. Final lap of the gauntlet today on Chill Square with a little DLC. So far, so good. Really rocky through this left of the 163. I'm not looking forward to this again, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Got some cars coming up on us here. We need to get more forward though, can't see. All right, looks clear, good job. And it's taken off. All right, brace for discomfort. Whoa, don't you try to go around this van now. You better hold your horses here. What is, look at this, do you see this? Wow. Let's fast forward to uh, a we'll redo there. All right, lap three restart. <laughs> Kicking it off with a car backing up in front of us. So the vehicle seemed to get super impatient wanting to get around that vehicle, and then it just lost its mind and aborted the left turn altogether. This is interesting. We got some backed up traffic here. We'll see how this performs. We need to go forward though. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go, there you go. Get out there. Come on, Beta. Let's do it, Mew. All right. Wow, okay, unnecessary. Left turn, anybody? Jesus, <laughs> come on. Oh, you're just gonna dive in, all right. Oh my gosh. Least favorite part of the whole course now is that right there. All right, at least get this. Oh man, Mercedes coming up right on us. Hopefully we do our thing where we slow down. Very good. All right, now get over, get over, get over. Stupid. I have to bail out. All right, third time's a charm, right? <laughs> if it doesn't do it this time, we're just out of third lap. If at third you don't succeed, go home and sleep it off. Man. It was doing a lot of the right stuff there. It slowed down as the Mercedes was coming up on us, which was good, that way it could execute getting over. It had room, and if it thought like we do, it could have got its way in there. But the Scion behind the Mercedes, what etiquette, what does etiquette even mean? He just kept coming up, and the car lost its chance. And rather than take over and cut in between everybody, I'm not gonna put other drivers in danger. I'm just gonna abort and see if we can do it again. All right. Oh yeah, and this part. Oh man, I hate this part. This is genuinely becoming unpleasant. Come on, come on. All right, I gotta take over because we're just veering off. My blood pressure is through the roof right now. Okay, you've got a window until these humans. My gosh, dude. Come on. Yeah. Fail. I blame that SUV up there. Oh, boy. Struggles with the gauntlet. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Right, let's just see for fun here. Is it gonna... <laughs> It's like, hey, I want to make it feel better, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one right. I don't think we're gonna be going too fast either with this big old bus in front of us. So, all right. All of that being said, I'm gonna go get this posted. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I know a lot of you want to see this done on the chill settings. Hope you enjoyed the entertainment of the fiasco of the attempt of a third lap. <laughs> Man, what a day. Till the next one, take care.